Hi, welcome to Passion for Plants. My name is Hannah and in this video we are going to be planting some hedges. We planted this hedge about two years ago and it was the same size as this when we first planted it and it's obviously grown a lot. We need to hedge this and trim it down so we'll be doing that today too. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys how we plant this. I'm going to be doing some drip irrigation that we've connected to sprinkler already so it'll go at the same time as the sprinklers. I think it's like eight minutes. So we're gonna be doing that along all of these because I've just been hand watering these for the last like year probably. Um, but they're doing really well. This is a Eugenia Syzygium paniculatum. I don't know how to say that first name, but sounds good enough to me. Um, so I'll show you guys how we're planting this. Alex, of course, is gonna be digging most of the holes because he's a strong burly man. And so <laughs> I'm gonna have him doing that. And uh, we'll show you as we go along. So Alex has finished up digging all the holes. We've put the plants in there, but I'll show you exactly how I'm gonna plant them. We're gonna use some root fertilizer, starter fertilizer. This has mycorrhizae in it. And so I'll take a little bit. I'm gonna put it in the base of the hole. And uh, this hole is level with the top of the soil in the pot and a little bit bigger. If you could do double the width, that's ideal, but this is big enough. So I put some of that fertilizer in. We will just kind of break up the soil, add some in here. And then I'll add a little bit more fertilizer. Just kind of layering it so it's not all at the bottom. And then we'll do one more little bit. And I'm gonna push this down, get any air pockets out. Okay, so I just kind of straightened it out. We'll have to stake this as it gets larger. We had to do that a lot with those plants, um, but that's how we're, we plant it and we'll do the rest of these. So we pulled up this existing uh, drip irrigation. What I had here before is a soaker hose. I cut it to remove it, but it went around this and connected here. It worked okay, but the soaker hose hardened over time and it just wasn't releasing water. So there was hardly any water getting out. So I eventually just stopped using this and was hand watering it. So now we're gonna update this. And so what I have here, this is just poly tubing, no um, outlets on it. And so I'm gonna add some emitters here. Like I said, we put it on for eight minutes with our sprinkler. And so I have a four gallon per hour which doing the math, 15 minutes sprinkler would be one gallon. So we have half of that, eight minutes is half of a gallon. So then I'm gonna add another one, another four minutes or four gallon per hour emitter. So two of those is gonna equal one gallon per hour for the day, if that makes sense. So they'll be getting one gallon per hour if anybody's interested of the actual amount. So I already have one hole here. So we're going to pop this on. And then I'll show you how we do it again. So I'll show you how I pop this hole in here. Always make sure that you use this side um, because you might pop it on the wrong side if you aren't paying attention to where it's poking in. So we're gonna pop it over there. So we'll put it a little bit spaced apart and we'll just squeeze. Okay, and then we have a hole here. And we'll pop this in. And there's that. So we have our two emitters here, two four hours, four gallon per hour, sorry. And then I'll put it here and we'll stake it in so that it's close to the base here and that's how it's gonna be. We'll all kind of bury it a little bit and cover it with mulch um, after we hedge this. 
but I wanted to show you guys how we're gonna be putting those in. I wanted to show you guys, I have this little contraption here. Any kind of compartment box is very helpful to have all of your little emitters and everything. So I'll attach um, in the description something like this and my gloves and all the stuff that I use if you guys are curious. Looking good. We're gonna work on the drip irrigation now. We had uh, cement laid here, so when we had the grass taken out, I don't know if you can hear that, but that's Faith in the background making noise, so she's having fun over there. Um, when we had the grass taken out, w the guys uh, capped off one of the sprinklers and put the strip irrigation connection, so I don't know what all these are called, and I don't know if it's necessarily like the best way to do it, but I'll show you what they did. They teed off here and added an elbow here, connected, and then just came up and connected to polytubing here. So what I'm gonna do is take this, put a T so that it goes this way and connects to stuff I already have going down this way. Uh, let's cut this. And I want these to run fairly close to the, the stem, the root. Um, the trunk but not really close to where the water is shooting out onto the trunk so we'll go about here so I'm gonna cut it where I want it okay I'll take my T and we're gonna push this on we're gonna connect this one and then we'll connect this so I'll show you after I push this on and by me putting this on I meant Alex doing the hard work of pushing this on hee <laughs> there's faith that's where all the noise is coming from okay. with the bottle Alex just finished the hard work of pushing in the tubing into this tea so now I'll show you again um, what I do to put the emitters in. So again, always making sure you see which side this is gonna be poking in because sometimes you'll shoot it on the wrong side if you're not paying attention. I've done that many times. So learn from me. So we'll pop it. That was a quiet pop. Put our emitter in. Okay, so we got that one in. I ran out of the other four gallon per hour so I'm gonna use this one which you put on and then you can twist and it adjusts how much water comes out so we'll pop again push this in all right so that's in let's get this baked into where we want it and then eventually we'll put mulch over this so you can't see this but let's do a test run to make sure that this all works okay so we have our sprinklers that go on in this section on and we can see this is how it's spraying out so I can adjust this to get more water or lessen it oh wait I'm going the wrong way Okay, there we go. So we can lessen it too. All right, this is the finished product. So you can see how teeny tiny these things look next to this huge hedge. And we trimmed it all down, topped it, cleaned it up, planted these, um, did the drip irrigation, which will go on for eight minutes. Got that all figured out. And like I said, these were planted two years ago. So hopefully by the time two years comes, 
this will fill up so that we don't have sun shining onto our table and we have some more shade in the afternoon. Um, but I hope that this video is helpful. Hope you enjoyed it. These are great plants to create a hedge. As you can tell, they're super easy, low maintenance, no disease issues, anything like that. So if you have any questions, anything, leave it in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks for watching.